What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video we have a full preview of the up and coming Solstice event. This is the latest free cash grab event from Bungie. So if you want to find out everything that you can expect for the up and coming events, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. So each and every season we get a free limited time event. Season of the Deep is no different and this season sees the launch of Solstice which will kick off on the 18th of July and run through until the weekly reset on August 8th. Now Solstice is marked as a way of celebrating the summer solstice and the achievements of Guardians throughout Destiny 2. Now for Solstice in 2022 we had some sweeping changes over in the European Aerial Zone and this year's event continues in a similar format. Now the EAZ is a three player match made area which is where we'll need to navigate floating platforms whilst defeating huge waves of combatants as well as defeating bosses. Now by defeating as many enemies as possible this will allow us to stoke the central bonfire during the bonfire bash activity. Now Bungie have stated they've done some work on enemy density and the overall difficulty of bonfire bash. So it's with that in mind it will take us a little longer to light the bonfire but to aid us on our way they're also implementing two new buffs to help mix things up. These include Firebound, which is a buff that is dedicated to Bonfire Bash. And this is when you're close to a fire team member, you'll gain increased recovery and super regeneration. Alongside that, we also have Flare. And this buff is available in Bonfire Bash and the Vanguard Ops playlist. And this is where rapidly defeating combatants will unleash waves of paracausal fire around you, dealing damage to nearby combatants. Now the higher the bonfire grows, the more loot that you'll earn from completion. And to access the EAZ, you can launch this directly from the tower courtyard or via the launch node over in the tower map. Now naturally, Destiny is all about the loot. And whilst these limited time events highly focus on cosmetics, Solstice is in fact one of the best times of year to earn high stat armor. On top of that, we have some exclusive weapons to the Solstice event, one which is brand new for Solstice 2023. Now Bungie continue with the Solstice Armor upgrade path from last year's event, which will see players needing to earn silver leaves, converting them into silver ash, and if you complete challenges via the event card, earn kindling to activate their glows. Now in the most recent This Week in Destiny, Bungie did provide sneaky peeks at all the class armor. Here we have the Titan, alongside the Hunter, and finally the Warlock. As you can see, these armor sets are entirely new for this year's event and all have their own unique glow. Now, as with previous Solstice events, if you want to pick up any of the previous armor sets from any of the previous events, these will be available via Eververse and you'll be able to pick these up for either Silver or Bright Dust. Now, for these armor sets, you can complete objectives to upgrade your Solstice armor and this will progress through three tiers and each of these will unlock new armor effects. Now, you can keep track of all your progress towards any of these objectives by hovering over the armor piece in your character screen. Now it's important to remember you only need to do this once per armor slot and every time you upgrade a piece of Solstice armor it is permanent and shared across all the Solstice pieces for that particular armor slot. So in Bungie's example if you upgrade a helmet all the way up to tier 3 every Solstice helmet currently in your inventory and any future helmets that you earn for that class can now access the tier 3 stat rerolls. Now in order to reroll your armor you'll first need to earn silver leaves and you can pick these up by completing activities whilst equipping your Solstice armor. Now any silver leaves that you have in your inventory when you complete a bonfire bash activity will increase the amount of silver ash given upon activity completion. Now as we mentioned you can earn silver leaves by completing any activity in the game and throughout Solstice 2022 we got a preview of some of the drop rates across various activities. For any of the ritual activities you'll earn between 4 to 6 with Nightfalls offering between 7 to 11. Grandmaster Nightfalls will offer you 15. Public events are quick and easy and will offer 3 to 5 and back in the days of choosing the Witch Queen mission you could earn a massive 15. So as we mentioned the more silver leaves you have the more silver ash you'll earn when it's converted when completing a bonfire bash activity and it's this silver ash you'll be using to re-roll your armor stats in the armor mod screen. Now as well as the solstice armor you can also earn solstice weapons from the bonfire bash activity 
activity. And we now have three solstice weapons as part of this event. We have the original Compass Rose, which is a legendary solar shotgun, which is a precision frame. Now this comes with six perks in each column. We have surplus, lead from gold, quick draw, air assault, turnabout, and fragile focus, alongside Vorpal weapon, trench barrel, golden tricorn, incandescent, snapshot, and adagio. That's followed by the Sunthink New that was introduced in last year's event, which is a legendary Stasis Kinetic Hand Cannon. This one is aggressive frame, so fires at 120 rounds per minute. This also has six perks in each column, including Feeding Frenzy, Wellspring, Ensemble, Stats for All, Triple Tap, and Tunnel Vision, alongside Headstone, Demolitionist, Harmony, Thresh, Multi-Kill Clip, and Well-Rounded. But for this year's event, we also have a brand new Strand Rocket Launcher. Now, whilst we don't know the name of this launcher, we do have an idea of its archetype and also its perks. Now, this launcher looks like it's based on the Hake Precision Frame, which means the weapon fires a small auto-tracking missile, and this missile will lock onto targets when aiming down sights. Now, as for the main traits, we have seven perks in each column for this weapon, including Ensemble, Impulse Amplifier, Autoloading Holster, Build Prep, Demolitionist, Pergolist and also Shot Swap and that's followed by Adrenaline Junkie, Hatchling, One for All, Envious Assassin, Chain Reaction, Swashbuckler and Cluster Bomb. Now as these are all Solstice weapons they will also all have origin traits called Dreamwork and this is where once per reload assists or assisted final blows partially refill the weapons magazine from reserves potentially overflowing the mag. Now this in fact refills the magazine by 66% but can only be activated once before needing a manual reload. And whilst the magazine can overflow this is in fact always rounded up. Now there's certainly some unique perk combinations available on this new launcher. What sort of role will you be looking for? Be sure to sound off down in the comments below. Now in last year's event we saw the launch of the Flame Keeper Seal and this looks like it will continue in 2023. This is a guildable seal so if you did earn it previously there will be some additional objectives for you this year to quickly allow you to guild it as part of the 2023 event. Now as well as the continuation of Flame Keeper we also have another new event card. These were introduced in Solstice 2022 and these are specific to live events. Now, the event card is free to all players and can be accessed by interacting with either Levante in the tower. Now Bungie do go on to say that players can choose to upgrade their event card by purchasing the card upgrade for 1000 silver. Now what will be interesting is with the recent increase in silver cost for seasons, will Bungie increase the cost for event cards? Now an upgraded event card contains extra event challenges for you to complete and earn extra event currencies. Now these can only be used on the event card and these allow you to purchase additional cosmetic rewards that are only available from the upgraded version. Now it's important to remember that this is free to all players, so there is no requirement to instantly upgrade your event card. You can simply wait towards the end of the event, see how many event tickets you have, and if you personally feel that it's worth it to spend that money for those extra cosmetics so you can use those event tickets, then that choice comes entirely down to you. For me though, I'm not a massive fan of event cards generally, but as always, be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. So there we have it guys, a good look on everything that you can expect for Solstice 2023. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to pick into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.